What's up guys? Those of you who might pay attention to good things will probably know that Fallout 4 is coming out right about now all around the world and we're gonna go over some tweaks you can do here in the PC version that uh, might improve your experience a little bit so you can get the most out of the game and you don't have to deal with all this stuff later. Now first uh, if you don't care to have a small field of view like uh, all the Fallout games since 3 have kind of defaulted to, uh, you can fix that just like you always have in these Fallout games. You go to C drive, user folder, pop into documents, go to my games, if my blind ass could find it, yes, Fallout 4, and Fallout 4 to I and I, and take a look at this wonderful text document. So, simple stuff here under general F default FOV equals 95. Under display, F default world FOV and F default first person FOV equal 95. 95, of course, being my personal choice. You can change that to whatever you want. But I have a pretty big ass monitor in front of me, so having a little bit higher value is kind of nice. And uh, those values also show up under interface. Uh, the video that I got this from didn't really mention this part, and it seemed to work for me and him without it. But just for the sake of consistency, you might want to change those too. So I'm doing 95 across the board. Uh, depending on your monitor and, you know, it might be a little bit hard to see this text, so I'll put these in the description. And uh, we're not done yet, because as I was playing, I was noticing a familiar bit of mouse lag that I've also experienced from Fallout before, and I figured, oh, it's because uh, this engine isn't terribly good at doing V-Sync, and V-Sync is on. So I go restart the game go into this wonderful launcher we have and notice there isn't a vsync setting so that's kind of shitty but with modern graphics card drivers this isn't an issue go into nvidia control panel or catalyst control center add your fallout 4 executable into your program settings find vertical sync and do off um, this might be unfortunate if you're planning to use adaptive or something, but um, it definitely makes the mouse movement feel much more where it should be. I, it felt way more comfortable to me, and I didn't notice a whole lot of tearing with the setting forced to off anyway, So, uh, and uh, that's on my system, so I'll link that spec in my description to this video if you want to check it out, you know, for reference. So yeah, use a driver to turn on VSync, adjust the field of view if it's your preference, and uh, you might get a little bit more out of what is hopefully a fantastic game. Haven't really played it yet. It's not even out yet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Like the video if it helped you out. Subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.